So the best part about ZBrush to me is that I can add it to my tool set um, just like anything else and I it's very easy for me to bounce between uh, one application to another. So one of the things I do quite often when I'm doing package design for um, for a uh, toy or, or, or video game or something like that is I have to I have to concept out the way that I want the character to look. I might either do it on paper or if I have a really tight deadline which more often than not is the case I'll do it right in uh, a program like Painter or, uh, or Photoshop. So what you see me doing here is figuring out the way this turtle would look if, uh, if I were designing it. And I know I want him to look gritty. I, I, I know that after watching the films, um, I wanted mine to feel more like the, uh, the comic book. Um, so no noses or lips or anything like that. And I'm just kind of going in and, and figuring out uh, where I want wraps to be and straps. And, and my guy, I believe, is going to be the last turtle. He's the last guy that's left standing. And so his brothers all kind of didn't end well with Shredder, and, and so he is, uh, he's kind of carrying all their weapons. Um, so you'll see right here, I, I, I kind of figured out the way I want the guy to look in Photoshop. I'm now saving this image as a JPEG that I can use as a template in ZBrush. And uh, I'm gonna recreate pretty much the way that I made him here, which is to import that uh, picture as a texture, which I will place on my screen and use as a guide. Okay, so now that I have that concept figured out in Photoshop, I can just bounce right over to ZBrush, import the picture as a texture, and put it on my screen. Once that's docked down, I can use that as my guide, and using a uh, sphere that I have, I'll just use the Move tool and stretch it out to kind of approximate the shell. So just make that Move tool nice and big. Uh, and just pull it out, get the shell shape. It's great because I have my symmetry here and, and you know, if I were illustrating this with nothing, I would probably be looking at just a regular little six inch figure that has nothing to do with this um, and just trying to figure out how a wider body would look since he has that massive shell and how those shadows would fall. Um, I might even set up lighting for myself and pose and take a picture uh, of, of, of myself, which is kind of the way that I've done it in the past. You know, I've used my kids, my wife, um, pretty much anybody I could get my hands on as a model uh, and set up lighting and, and taken shots and then use that uh, pretty much nothing's off limits um, scouring the internet for pictures to, to get what I want but now that I have ZBrush I can you know I can make exactly what I need and um, and use that as my reference which you can't get any better than that because I know exactly uh, what the what the shadows are gonna look like you know I place the lights myself um, I know how a strap is gonna affect the way that um, you know, the way that light might play around uh, his leg or his uh, his shell or something like that, in regards to his vest, um, because I have that sculpted out. Um, so again, just really powerful tool that I, I started using um, after I finished doing uh, my pieces for the GI Joe line. I, I wish I had used it then, um, but I, I didn't, and it was way harder. So what you'll see me doing now is I'm, I'm using my Z-Remesher. Uh, the geometry on these spheres is way higher than I need. So I just went through and Z-Remeshed a couple times to, to make them more manageable. And uh, by keeping a low geometry, um, I'm able to get the approximate shapes without just having a whole bunch of uh, memory being wasted on this thing. Something I learned after I was using ZBrush for a while, by the way, I would have these tremendous you know multi-million polygon uh, shapes that were you know could have been done with thousands so that's like the basic shape that I started with this uh, for the turtle and I'm, I'm gonna kind of show what I did which is take the take that shell shape that I have using my damn standard and symmetry kind of sculpt out the pecs and the abs um, go in and smooth those lines a little bit 
and just sculpt them down some more. Pretty much the way that everybody ever has sculpted in ZBrush. Uh, but it, again, it's it's really accessible. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm not a, I'll say this a, a lot, like I'm not, I'm not a 3D guy. If I was, you know, if you told me I had to figure this thing out in, in a traditional package, I couldn't, I couldn't really do it. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'll be honest, I'm not interested in, in doing that. I don't have time for it. I, I'm a painter um, and I, I, I just want to get into painting. So if I can get an approximation of what I'm going to paint, it's good enough. So that was, that was the basic shape that you see on the screen there. I made a copy and I'm bringing in the, the, uh, the turtle, you know, fast forward several hours. And uh, this is kind of what I did. I put a tech vest on him that's got a hood. I got a, a, a thing to hold his katanas on his back. I made this gauntlet with, uh, you know, some found wood pieces and nails driven through him just to make him feel like he has more attitude. And, um, you know, sculpted the straps on his legs and, and all that good stuff. So I, I want my guy to feel grimy. I want him to feel like he, uh, he's ready to, to get in there and, and kick some, some foot butt. And uh, I think my guy is, is looking that way. So I'm just kind of referring back to the original concept sketch. And it's pretty close. You know, I, got, I have pretty much what I need on there. So the great thing is now I'm looking at it and I can see other things that I need. Uh, so I can take a screen cap of my 3D guy, kind of position him in a, a straightforward shot and then do maybe a three quarter or a back shot and uh, take that back into Photoshop and uh, sketch more tools. You know what I mean? Like maybe I want to put on some, uh, some size on his legs. Um, uh, you know, I think I add nunchucks to him. So the great thing is now I have a, a, a real kind of a, a thing I'm dealing with. I can see exactly what he, exactly what he looks like in a T-pose or a relaxed pose rather, and I can put on the rest of those tools. And I'm gonna do that right now. So position this thing the way I want. I don't even do a render, I just do a screen cap. Go back into Photoshop, open him up, and uh, make a new layer, and then I draw my notes. You know, more wraps, uh, nunchucks. Uh, I wanna put like a big gnarly slash on his chest, like. You know, he's the last turtle alive, but he caught a bad one from uh, from Shredder on the chest there. So I uh, decide that I want to sketch that in, and this is what I want to um, this is what I want to incorporate in my sculpt. So I see in the cartoons a lot that he has a belt. These these guys have belts. I don't know how belts work on a turtle. Uh, he would probably just fall off. So I decide to to kind of get rid of it. Uh, the great thing is I haven't sculpted anything. I just sketched it on in two seconds and realized, nope, that's not going to work. And so uh, it's just a lot of back and forth. It's it's fantastic to be able to um, to just bounce between applications. And this is something you'll see me doing with uh, Painter and Photoshop a lot. They, they're they pretty seamless. And I believe now, uh, for me, Z, ZBrush is also seamless. I can work that into my, my workflow very easily. Um, and it just, you know, it's a time saver. It's great. So I'm doing that now. I'm coming in here. I'm going to open up the pose turtle that I made. And there's the pose guy. So I did that in Transpose Master. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm no good at rigging. I, 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 you know, I know people that can do it. Um, I'm not that guy, so I just kind of took that low poly, uh, relaxed pose guy that you see on the left into Transpose Master, and uh, and posed him the way that I wanted, and went in and adjusted the um, you know adjusted the the materials on him uh, and the tools on him to kind of fit his body.